three, two, one. Get fucked. All right. Um, go ahead. So tonight we're running our uh, night vision setups. So doing a little training under nods. Uh, jumping into it. Let's just talk about uh, what kind of night vision we're running. We're going to be running PVS 14s as we're not super Gucci and have a bunch of money. We're poor. So I can't run DTS. Well, I could if I saved up and, you know, bought DTS or whatever. But 14s are cool. Uh, don't let, you know, mainstream media and Instagram fool you. They let um, you see at night, which yeah. is the goal of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Break it down. Let you see the goal, right. right? There's a bunch of companies, TNVC and mine's from Steel Industry. Steel Industries. His yeah, is TNVC. TNVC. Great companies to buy from. Right. Um, you um, could buy used ones cheaper. They uh, we got. I'll give them the price really quick so they can. I see. got mine for eighteen hundred dollars on sale. So I mean, if you can catch it at the right time, it could be very beneficial. His tubes are. L three Harris. L bits or something. Yeah, L or Harris. Yours is L three Harris. Yeah. Mine are L bits. Um, Mine was you can just tell under 3, kind of 000. like the clarity and the, the between the two. So mine are a little bit less quality than his. You can see it if they're like side by side. Like if we take my tube, look in it, and take his tube, look in it, you can tell. But I mean, does it really matter? You can see sure. at night. You can see at night. Exactly. They're both Gen three tubes. Too. Yeah. For Gen what that's tubes. worth, this is a quick rundown. So we'll get into some of the guns now, right? That's you know the night vision mount right right uh i guess you guys can do a little bit more digging maybe we'll do more videos in depth on just the housing um so first one we got here is uh just my 14.5 bcm clone copy of what i carried in the army uh this has the uh d-ball a3 this is my ir illuminator for this rifle um quality quality ir illuminator about 1300 bucks i think i paid right. um you know, just a quick, or not a quick, it's, you know, it's got your Viz laser, IR, IR flood, high. Um, so quality laser, I like it, I enjoy it. Um, that's that's on my first one here. Um, this one's uh, my one of my work rifles, 12.5 BCM. Um, this one is rocking a hollow sun. I don't know the model number, because hollow sun, you guys do some weird shit with your numbering for your fucking model numbers good whatever. product though it is a great product yeah so for if you're getting into like a budget setup on night vision um we got ours for 600 but i guess they yeah. go for like eight six so, to eight online or something 600 at the store that we went to and bought it at but online be careful because they do run anywhere between like eight to a thousand which is still pretty cheap for an illuminator yeah. uh granted a thousand dollars is not cheap by any means but like yeah, i mean for an a illuminator between like a D-ball, which is 13, and an end goal, which is like, what, fucking, I don't even a know. A lot. Or like a full power peck, which goes for like damn near 3K. So like. Yeah. So that, I mean, my thing is, so I bought, my first IR was on my 14.5, which was the D-ball. I saved up and, you know, we'd mess with peck 15s in the military. I like the peck 15. Um, great. You know, I'd say a great illuminator. Um, the reason why I decided to buy the D-ball for the civilian over the civilian peck is honestly just the housing. You're getting an aluminum housing over a plastic housing. And right. when I'm paying for it, it's not getting paid for by Uncle Sham. I don't want to beat up plastic. So that was my thing. Um, on here, it's a it's a same thing. Viz laser, um, slave to the IR laser, which means you can zero it with the Viz. And your IR laser is going to be, um, you know... The same. Yeah, zeroed with it. Um, good good starting. Um, so, IR realistically, illuminator. if you wanted to buy a Holosun for, let's say, 800 bucks, you get a L3 Harris tube for almost three. 3K. You're in a night vision setup on your gun and on your head. For 3,800 bucks. For 3,800 bucks. Oh, I guess you got to get a helmet or... I mean, you can get. I mean, you can just get a bump helmet. Running yeah, you get bump bucks. helmets. Um, two hundred. I mean, depending on the brand. Honestly, this one's an eBay one uh, or a uh, yeah, eBay, Amazon. Yeah, we're fielding that one. Yeah. Just, yeah. So this is a test, right? Um, I mean, it works though. It holds nods to your head. It works. We've been running with it. The mount stays. Um, I wanted an alternative instead of running around with a ballistic for when I train all the time because it does get a little bit heavy. Um. I have an old Protec, which is like the older model bump helmets, and it just wasn't, it wasn't good to fit with like comms underneath, or not comms, uh, 
hearing protection, right? So I was like, hey, dude, let's lab this fucking Amazon helmet. I think I paid right. like I don't know, less than a hundred bucks for it. Um, it works. I mean, it's, I wouldn't tell you to like, Hey, go in harm's way with this helmet or use it. Yeah. No, but you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, you pay for what you get, but you want to rip a brand, but for what we've been doing running around, it's held up. It holds the nods to your head. Uh, personally, I mean, I would save up, but let's say you just bought your fresh new tubes and you want to go shoot. I mean, $40 helmet or whatever it is, isn't bad to start it up. No, not at His all. is running on a ballistic helmet. Um, I think mine's from, this one is from Hardhead I'm Veterans. I'm sure a lot of you guys have helmets already, right? I mean, if yeah. you're into gun stuff, I'm sure you got helmets. You could probably buy a cheap Mitch helmet on like eBay for like oh, 200 yeah. bucks or something. Yeah. The price you'd get for a bump, you know, you'd have and to weigh out the ballistic. odds. Yeah, that yeah. stops, you know, pistol caliber and frags. Um, he's running the Hollow Sun 2, if you want to show him yours. Yeah, so on my tank of a rifle here, my Springfield Saint that you've seen in other videos, I'm sure. Uh, I run also the Hollow Sun Blazer. Uh, reason why I like my Hollow Sun though is that I'm left-handed. Wrong-handed. So when I grip over the rifle, my thumb is just right there. Yeah, yeah. So, I that's, mean, the Hollow Sun though is not a bad IR illuminator for... No, it's not bad. The flood is... I'd say the flood's good. It's not the best. No, it's not it's the not. worst. It's not. Um, I think the flood's better on the D ball, and then I mean, you got your end goal, and what's the new one everyone was freaking out about for a the while? The ball, ball, I think. Which, whatever. I mean, it gets in an argument it's about. Cool. B yeah. Myers makes good stuff, but they do. They make good shit. At the end of the day, man, it's a civilian laser. It can't go over certain science nerdy numbers for civilian use, unless you want to drop the three grand for one that fell off a truck of a Peck 15. So. And you got to think, what are you using your nods for, right? I mean, if it's just running around plinking or hog hunting, do you need a full power laser? Are you signaling aircraft? Are yeah. you signaling troop maneuvers? Probably not. Um, you know, self-defense situation, are you going to be shooting past fucking 100 yards? Probably not. I mean, you could have some explaining to do, I guess, if to the authorities on that one. I mean, yeah, sure. I shot this dude 100 yards away. Um, you know, say shit hits the fan, end of the world type shit, maybe, but... Would you yeah. want to engage that far at night and give up your position? I mean, I don't know. For me, the civilian one works fine for my line of work, what I do. Um, then our, our next example is here, right? So if you can't afford a laser, right, let's say you you buy your, um, your night vision, right, and you're like, all right, I'm going to save up and decide what laser, right? You can run on most of your quality optics nowadays, your, the hollow suns included, they have night vision modes and you can shoot passive, which is basically you shoot behind the gun like you normally do, um, but you're looking through the optic with your night vision and there's a night vision setting where it turns the brightness down to where you can't see it with your naked eye, but you can pick it up on your tubes and basically you can shoot. Usually like the first or the second setting. Yeah, it's like one or two settings. Uh, the EOTech uh, has a night vision button. Um, I really like the night or the EOTech for passive because that big window um, on the smaller like yeah uh, on my hollow sun here. Uh, my hollow sun here it goes the two and then it turns on the red dot. Yeah, it's it's a little harder to see through the small tube. Um, I like the bigger one. I mean, I know if right. you run it on like a one nine riser or whatever. I like to co witness iron, so that's why I don't run it. The quick passive aiming as if you were looking through your EOTech optic reason on this one. So you can see it just like he normally would, but just by looking through the optic instead of having the IR laser. Um, but I mean, those are pretty basic setups. I don't know what we're at here. On, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, we'll go more in depth later on. But those are your varieties, right? Get yourself a good tube. You don't have to get... If you want to save and get dual tubes, go ahead. If you can't, a 14 will do the job. Yeah, and I mean, if you really want to dual tubes, just get two 14s, and then yeah. you could have multi-purpose. You could even pass one off to your buddy. Like, yeah, I you mean, know, does it weigh a little bit more? Sure, but I mean, you can see at night, you can shoot sure. at night, and you can fight at night. That's that's the purpose of night vision. Um, everyone kind of chases the cool guy thing. You know, we're all guilty of it. See some right. bullshit, but at the end of the day, it's what you can afford and what you can use. Seeing at night is better than not seeing at night. I mean, unless you can eat a lot of carrots, then let us know that there you, go. you need to tell me your secret <laughs> uh, if you can see at night after that but right. basic setups we'll go into the rest later in a, another so in-depth video let's go shoot at night i guess yeah let's go uh, do let's cool do guy it. stuff what was that splinter cell fucking game yeah <laughs> going dark call of duty or it's like you like turn on the nods it's like <laughs> going dark 
cool. Don't do drugs.